just like a child who trusts his father dear and who delights to feel his presence near just like a child whose mind is not a doubt and whose heart is never proud here I go In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Amen. the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all, and, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Today is the third day of the Tridium in preparation for the Feast of the Nativity of Our Lady. Let us pray for the grace to be compassionate and humble like Mother Mary in our relationships and work. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary of a Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, by whom we are redeemed and receive adoption, look graciously upon your beloved sons and daughters, that those who believe in Christ may receive true freedom and an everlasting inheritance. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. I have been told as an undoubted fact that one of you is living with his father's wife. This is a case of sexual immorality among you that you must be unparalleled even among pagans. How can you be so proud of yourselves? You should be mourning. Man who does a thing like that ought to have been expelled from the community. Though I am far away in body, I am with you in spirit and have already condemned the man who did this thing as if I were actually present. When you are assembled together in the name of the Lord Jesus and I am spiritually present with you, then with the power of our Lord Jesus, he is to be handed over to Satan so that his sensual body may be destroyed and his spirit saved on the day of the Lord. The pride that you take in yourself is hardly to your credit. You must know how even a small amount of yeast is enough to leaven all the dough. So get rid of all the old yeast and make yourself into a completely new batch of bread, unleavened as you are meant to be. Christ, our Savior and our Passover, has been sacrificed. Let us celebrate the feast then by getting rid of all the old yeast of evil and wickedness having only the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Our response to the word of God is, Lead me, Lord, in your justice. Lead me, Lord, in your justice. There are no God who loves evil. 
no sinner is your guest. The boastful shall not stand the ground before your face. Lead me, Lord, in your justice. To hate all who do evil, to destroy all who lie. The deceitful and bloodthirsty man, the Lord detests. Lead, Lead me, Lord, Lord in, in your justice. justice. All those who protect shall be glad and ring out their joy. To shelter them in you, they rejoice, those who love your name. Lead, Lead me, Lord, in, in your, your justice. justice. Kindly rise. that belong to me listen to my voice says the Lord I know them and they follow me The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory, Glory to you, to you, O Lord. On the Sabbath, Jesus entered the synagogue and taught. And there was a man there whose right hand was withered. The scribes and the Pharisees watched him to see whether he would cure on the Sabbath so that they might find an accusation against him. Even though Jesus knew what they were thinking, he said to the man who had the withered hand, Come and stand here. He got up and stood there. Then Jesus said to them, I ask you, is it lawful to do good or to do harm on the Sabbath, to save life or to destroy it? After looking around at all of them, Jesus said to him, Stretch out your hand. He did so, and his hand was restored. But they were filled with fury and discussed with one another what they might do to Jesus. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Please be seated. My brothers and sisters, today we celebrate the Feast of the Blessed Frederick Ozanam, founder of the Society of St. Vincent de Paul. Only in life he learned to be compassionate from his parents. As followers of Christ, all of us are called to be compassionate. Compassion is valued by many world religions, including Hinduism, uh, Judaism and Christianity. First of all, what is compassion? The meaning of compassion is to recognize the suffering of others and then take action to help. So there are two components. Compassion, first of all, recognizes the suffering of others and the second, reaches out to help. Compassion embodies a tangible expression of love. Compassion includes a very concrete action of love uh, for those who are suffering. Compassion literally means to suffer with. So you are suffering with the person who is suffering. Compassion is much more than empathy. We have many other words which go along with compassion. There's empathy, sympathy, pity, concern. But uh, empathy, Sympathy, pity is all a feeling, an emotion, where you feel for the other. But compassion is much more than an emotion, much more than a feeling. Compassion is feeling with the other. Compassion is reaching out uh, to help the one who is suffering. So there is a component of, of action, action of help. And that separates uh, compassion from sympathy, pity, and uh, empathy. What does, uh, what does it mean to have compassion? 
The component of action is what separates compassion from empathy, sympathy, pity and concern. Compassion gets involved. When others keep their distance from those who are suffering, compassion prompts us to act on their behalf, on behalf of the suffering. Now, what is the biblical definition of compassion? Does the Bible give us a definition of compassion? No. Nowhere will you find a definition of compassion in the Bible. Bible does not tell us what compassion is, is, is what it means, but it shows us what compassion looks like. It shows us uh, what is involved in being compassionate. The Bible is full of teachings regarding the compassion of God, compassionate and merciful love of God. There are so many teachings on this in the Bible. And then Jesus taught us how to be compassionate. He gave us many parables, like the parable of the man who fell among the thieves. They uh, left him badly injured on the, on the road. And a Samaritan passed that way. He saw him, he had pity on him, he had compassion for him. And he saved him, he rescued him. Even though the victim did not belong to his religion or to his race. So that is what compassion is. Reaching out to the suffering to help, to alleviate their suffering. Mary, our Blessed Mother, was compassionate too. She reached out to the needy and the suffering. For instance, at the wedding feast in Cana, she approached Jesus saying, they have no wine. Her intervention, her compassion, spared the newly beds of embarrassment. My brothers and sisters, as followers of Christ, all of us are called to be compassionate towards others. Today, we celebrate the feast of uh, Blessed Frederick Ozanam, the founder of the Society of St. Vincent de Paul. Early in life, he imbibed from his parents the humane touch of concern for the poor and the needy. His father was a medical practitioner and his patients were mainly poor people. He loved them and he gave them the best of treatment. And so, Ozanam, uh, uh, Frederick watched this and he too was filled com with compassion. And his mother was the president of the Society uh, of Charity. And uh, from, her, from his mother also, he learned to be compassionate towards those who were suffering. So very early in life, he learned from his parents to be compassionate. In time, Frederick's humanness was to find due expression when he decided that his words needed a grounding in action. As he was growing, of course, he had a lot of sympathy, a lot of pity, a lot of empathy. But he realized it is not enough to have that emotion, to have that feeling, to feel for the other. But you have to concretely show your love, your concern by action. And so the, 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 uh, the words uh, needed to be grounded in action. So he, along with a friend, started visiting the poor tenements of uh, Paris and helping the poor, giving them assistance as much as they could. And working with the Daughters of Charity located in the poorest district of Paris brought him in close contact with the derelicts of society, those abandoned by society, those neglected by society, the poor lot. It made him compassionate. He realized the suffering that was there. And it inspired him, working with these uh, derelicts, it inspired him to open a house for them, to open a conference, a, a, a conference of charity in 1833. And uh, for uh, Frederick Ozanam, St. Vincent de Paul was a role model. And therefore, he put his uh, new established uh, conference of charity under his guidance and under his patronage, calling the conference that he established Society of St. Vincent de Paul. The Society, uh, a, a, a man, uh, Ozanam, Frederick Ozanam, uh, treasured the, each person. He realized each person had a tremendous value. He was convinced of the inestimable worth of each human being. 
Frederick served the poor of, the, of Paris well and drew others into serving the poor of the world. So he inspired many others, first in Paris and then everywhere else. Inspired by him, many people came forward to work for the poor of the world. To the Society of St. Vincent de Paul, his work continues to the present day. Today, the SVP has nearly 50,000 conferences or branches uh, spread across the five continents. Our parish is also blessed with one such conference. We have the Society of St. Vincent de Paul in our own parish, which looks after about 30 families. So we have uh, the, the parish SVP has about 30 adopted families, adopted by them. They give them rations, look after their education, give them medical help and many other things. Now, the Society of St. Vincent Paul, it is not, the aim is not to make people dependent on them. It is a temporary aid that they give. Because right now, maybe there is no earning member in the family. Or the, the, all the members of the family are not capable of working. They are children studying. So, temporary help is given. And they encourage the family members to grow up and then to stand on their own feet. So help is not given for life, but only when it is needed. Once they grow up, they are expected to be on their own feet, uh, find a job and, and help themselves. Uh, it, is, it has been experience of many, many who have been helped by the SVP as they grow up, as they uh, learn to stand on their own feet, they, they learn to take care of themselves and not only taking care of themselves, they come forward to join the SVP and help the poor. They have been helped and now they want to help in their turn. So this is the good spirit that we find in many of the SVP adopted families. They have been helped and now they want to help others when they are doing well. After Frederick, uh, after Frederick earned his law degree, his father wanted him to be a lawyer. He earned a law degree. He taught at, at a law university of Lyons. He was more inclined towards literature. So he also got a doctorate in literature. And after his marriage, he uh, started teaching literature instead of law. But he also launched a, a new um, newspaper. Uh, called the, the New Era, dedicated to securing justice for the poor and the working classes. So my brothers and sisters, all of us have a great love for the poor and concern for them. No doubt in every parish we see, people have love and concern for the poor. But mere emotion and feeling is not enough. This love has to be expressed very concretely. First of all, the SVP requires your financial assistance, giving rations, giving medical aid, educational aid, and other types of help, costs a lot of money. So the SVP is dependent on your aid. Right now, they have no money to give rations to the poor. Because of the lockdown, there are no gate collections. So for the time being, the church is helping to give rations to the SVP adopted families. But otherwise, your contributions uh, go a long way in helping the needs of the poor, those adopted by the SVP. And just giving money is not enough. Many of you are also invited to join the SVP, to strengthen their hands, because very few people are involved in working for the poor. If we have concern and love for the poor, many more people must join. Many, pe many more people must come forward to visit the poor, to understand their problems, and to help them to stand on their own feet. So today, a genuine request uh, as we celebrate the feast of uh, Frederick Ozanam, that our compassion for the poor may find concrete expression in the way we come forward and help the poor in many, many ways. Uh, through the intercession of our Blessed Mother, and blessed Frederick Ozenam, may we grow in our compassion, in our compassionate love for the poor. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.
prayer of the faithful. God reaches out to everyone in need through his son Jesus. We place our own petitions in faith, believing in his comforting presence in our lives. Our response is, Compassionate Lord, hear our prayer. Please repeat. Compassionate Lord, hear our prayer. For our Pope, bishops, priests, and religious, that they may always reflect Christ's compassion and love as they inspire the faithful to live like Christ did. We pray to the Lord. Compassionate Lord, hear our prayer. For the leaders of the world and those in authority, that their actions may always be just and compassionate in favor of the poor and the vulnerable of society. We pray to the Lord. Compassionate Lord, hear our prayer. For all the sick and especially those affected by COVID-19, that they may find strength in the healing power of Christ. We pray to the Lord. Compassionate Lord, hear our prayer. For all of us that, like Mother Mary, we may be compassionate in our outreach so that the people who suffer may find consolation in the service we render. We pray to the Lord. Compassionate Lord, hear our prayer. For our personal needs. We pray to the Lord. Compassionate Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. prayer. God our Father, we thank you for your compassion and love and for the for listening to the prayers we make in the name of Jesus your son and our Lord forever and ever. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the wine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brethren, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O God, who give us the gift of true prayer and of peace, graciously grant that through this offering we may do fitting homage to our divine majesty, and by partaking of the sacred mystery, we may be faithfully united in mind and heart through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For although you have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift. Since our praises add nothing to your greatness, profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. And so in company with the cause of angels, we praise you and with joy we proclaim. Sing Hosanna, sing Hosanna, sing Hosanna. 
are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope, Oswald our Bishop, his assistant bishops, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the service command and found by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to our apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the fate of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with, and with your spirit. Let's offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, to take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, to take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, to take away the sins of the world, grant us peace.
Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Let us make our spiritual communion with the Lord. O Lord Jesus, since I cannot now receive you in your sacramental presence, I beg you to come spiritually into my soul, to enrich me with your holy grace, and make me truly your own forever. O Jesus, living in Mary, come and live in me in the spirit of your holiness, in the fullness of your power, in the communion of your mysteries, in the perfection of your ways. O divine guest, give to my soul a strong, lively faith, an unbounded trust, perfect humility, an abiding sorrow for my sins, a total abandonment to your divine will and a perfect loving union with you in mind and heart. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. Lord Jesus, thank you for the blessings and graces you have given me through this spiritual communion. Let us pray. Grant that your faithful, O Lord, whom you nourish and endow with life through the food of your word and heavenly sacrament may so benefit from your beloved son's great gifts that we may merit an eternal share in his life who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Today, as we celebrate the feast of Frederick Ozenam, uh, this is a good opportunity for us to appreciate the good work done by the members of the uh, SVP in our parish. We thank all the members and uh, we pray that God may bless them, their families and all their adopted families. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. The, may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Novena to the Blessed Virgin Mary. Kindly recite along with me. Mary, our mother. Mary, our we mother. We are proud of you. We are, we are proud being of the you. Mother being the of mother our Lord of our Jesus, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. We praise, praise you in great joy of our heart. heart. You are the model, model to the parents, to parents protector, protector of, of the, the widows. widows. Shelter of the brokenhearted and health of the sick. We beg you to obtain for us the grace and love of God so that we may remain faithful children of God. Grant us the special protection which you have promised to those who venerate you. Kindly mention your intention. Accept our praises and those of the whole creation. We pray to you, Mary, our mother, to bless us all with good health of mind and body. Obtain all graces we need to be holy and make us pleasing children in the presence of God and may his holy name be praised by all men through you, Holy Mother. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother, Mother of God, God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. 
Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother, Mother of God, God, pray for us sinners, now and, and at the, the hour of our death. death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the, the hour of our death. death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As, As it was in the beginning, beginning is now, and ever shall be, world without end. end. Amen. Let us pray for relief from the coronavirus. Almighty and merciful God, who show your love to all creation everywhere. Hear graciously the prayers we make for all those affected by the coronavirus in various parts of the world. We come before you asking for a quick control of the outbreak, for a healing of those affected, for the victims and their families. We pray for the doctors doing research that an effective vaccine to combat the sickness is speedily found. We pray for the government and health authorities that they may take appropriate steps for the good of the people. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Virgin by God's decree, you were called eternally. That